In this video, I'm going to have a look at the transistor, what we mean by discrete states, bits, and binary. This is the electronic symbol for a transistor, and in this case, it is an NPN transistor. Now, the transistor will have a base, a collector, and an emitter. If you apply a high pulse to the base of the transistor, current will flow from the collector through to the emitter, and the transistor is said to be on. If you apply a low pulse to the base of the transistor, no current will flow, and the transistor is said to be off. We have just seen that a transistor can act as a switch. Now, it is an example of what's referred to as a solid-state switch, because it has no moving parts. To make it change its state, you apply electrical pulses. A high pulse to switch it on, a low pulse to switch it off. It's not like a light switch where you can switch the light on and off through the mechanical movement of the switch. When we consider the transistor, we can say it has two discrete states. It is on or it is off. It is allowing current to flow or it is stopping current from flowing. Let's reflect upon this notion of two discrete states. Consider a clock within a computer and you know it will produce a waveform, a digital waveform, that consists of low pulses and high pulses. And that's all it has. It either has a low pulse or a high pulse. There is nothing in between. The signal is either high or low. Consequently, we can say that the signal has two discrete states, low or high. The view from the electronics world is that a low pulse can be represented by a zero, and a high pulse can be represented by a one. Consequently, when we look at these figures, they're either zero or one. There are no other figures that we concern ourselves with when we're talking about two discrete states. If we now consider a transistor, we can say, let's put a low pulse to the base of the transistor, or we can say, let's put a zero to the base of the transistor. Whichever one we say, we can equally say low pulse or zero. What we know will happen is that the transistor will be said to be off. It doesn't allow the flow of current from the collector to the emitter. It is also acceptable to say, let's place a high pulse to the base, or instead of saying that, we can say, let's apply a one to the base of the transistor. And under these circumstances, current will flow from the collector to the emitter, and we say that the transistor is on. This is an example of two states. Likewise, this is an example of two states. This is also an example of two states. The binary number system only has two figures. It has the figure 0 and the figure 1. Consequently, the binary number system is ideal for representing the two states that exist within a computer system. These two discrete states are represented by binary 0 and binary 1. 0 represents low, represents a low pulse. 1 represents high, represents a high pulse. 0 and 1 are known as binary digits. Now, if you concentrate on binary digits for a moment, and you look to the B from binary and the ITS from digits, and you put them together, you can see that it spells bits. It's frequently the case that when we talk about computers and the binary patterns that exist within the computer, we refer to the bits of the binary. We say binary bits. So zero is an example of a binary bit, and one is an example of a binary bit. If you have eight bits together, that makes a byte. If you have four bits together, that makes a nibble. So we can see where the term bits comes from. Let's conclude this video by looking at some of the things we've introduced. The first thing we need to realize is that a transistor is the fundamental component of a computer system. The transistor is a solid state switch, which means it has no moving parts. It is controlled by low 
and high pulses within the computer. There are two states in a digital computer system, and we know that these can be a high pulse, a low pulse. We can say the things that are on and off. That's another example of two states. And of course, we've also got the fact that we have zero and one representing these two states. So we can conclude by saying binary bits represent these two states. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.